members of the jury. This is a case about the impossible. Impossible theories of the prosecution that can only lead to impossible results. Now you are here today because John Perez has been wrongfully accused of illegal possession of cocaine and he's been wrongfully accused of trafficking cocaine. But today, the facts and the evidence will show that John Perez is not guilty because it's simply impossible. Now John Perez is from Miami, Florida. He has a wife. He has a 12-year-old son. Today you will learn that he's not perfect. He doesn't have a perfect background, a perfect record. But times change and people change. And indeed, John Perez has changed. And when he made the decision to turn his life around, he became an informant, an undercover informant for the Miami Police Department. He would go on various sting operations where a particular drug smuggler was targeted. He would do whatever the police asked him to do, and he would assist them in bringing that drug smuggler down. He was going to get a new life and leave his entire past behind. In exchange for his assistance, John Perez was going to be entering into the Witness Protection Program. He was going to start a new life, get a new identity, in a new city. And he had one last sting operation to perform. He was going to transport cocaine from Key West to Miami, Florida. But something went wrong. He was arrested and wrongfully accused of illegal possession of cocaine and wrongfully accused of trafficking cocaine. And today, the facts will clearly show that it's simply impossible. Now, as you listen to the testimony, you hear the witnesses, it's going to be important for you to listen to the testimony very carefully. And throughout this entire trial, remember that the prosecution has the burden. They have the burden of proof to you beyond and to the exclusion of all reasonable doubt that my client John Perez is guilty. Think of reasonable doubt as a chain, a chain that's all linked together. It only takes one weak link to establish reasonable doubt. Now today you will learn that the prosecution thinks that he had the perfect opportunity to gain something from all of this, maybe do a side deal. But the evidence will show that he had nothing to gain. Instead, he had too much to lose. Because in exchange for him working with and cooperating with the Miami Police Department, he was going to be entering into the Witness Protection Program. You're going to hear from two witnesses today. You're going to hear from Officer Johnson. Officer Johnson never saw anything out of the ordinary. And Officer Johnson never saw anything drop from that plane. You're going to hear from a man by the name of Mikey Monday. Now, Mr. Monday is an expert. He's an expert witness for the defense. And he's going to tell you that he's had 10 years of experience as an aviation engineer. And he's very familiar with that same plane that John Perez was flying that day, the Cessna Mustang. And he will tell you that if that door opened, cabin pressure would be lost and that plane would crash. It would be impossible for John Perez to drop anything out of that plane. At the conclusion of this trial, after you've heard all of the evidence and after you've heard all the testimony, and you go back and you review the facts and the evidence, I ask you, use your common sense. Think about what's possible and think about what's clearly impossible. I submit to you, that it is clearly impossible that John Perez was in illegal possession of cocaine and clearly impossible that John Perez is guilty of illegal trafficking of cocaine. At the end of this trial, I ask you to submit a verdict of not guilty. Thank you. Great. Now let's quickly recap our chalkboard tips. First, highlight the positive aspects of your client. Second, use body language and voice inflection to emphasize your points. Third, step away from the podium to connect with the jury. Fourth, weave your theory into your trial story. Fifth, 
use analogy to explain reasonable doubt. You'll want to watch this video a few times. Keep track of the chalkboard tips and begin to incorporate them into your own presentation. 